Hey there, Lincoln here from BowAcademy.org. Today I want to talk to you about the drop-in cost of EV batteries and how it's going to affect the evolution of the industry and how it's going to help us get to the EV future that we will all like to live in. We're going to read through a quick article by Fast Company that cites a new study by Bloomberg New Energy Finance that discusses how EV batteries are dropping in cost and what that will mean for the future of EV cars. As you may know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, I am very bullish on the future of the electric vehicle and I'm investing about a third of my portfolio into EV companies that are going to help us get to that future. And one of those companies is SBE Switchback Energy, the SPAC taking ChargePoint public. So this is going to be great news for companies like ChargePoint because as EV batteries go down in cost, that means there'll be more EV cars produced by manufacturers, which means there'll be more options for consumers to choose from and consumers will be more willing to buy EV cars because the entire ecosystem is being built up and into parity with the gas car ecosystem. As we've discussed in previous videos, the smart people over at ChargePoint believe that by 2026, the EV market will have a 10% penetration into the greater automobile industry which means that in the next five years, it's going to grow from about two to 3% today to 10% in penetration. And that means that companies like ChargePoint who provide the infrastructure for this industry will grow alongside that penetration. So as an investor in this industry, I'm very excited about this news about the drop in cost in EV batteries. So let's take a look at this article. But before we get into it, just some housekeeping. If you enjoyed the video, like the video below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and comment your thoughts below on the EV market and what this news means for the future of electric vehicles. And of course, if you wanna help the channel grow and reach more investors, get more access to me and get direct answers to your investment questions, then join us over at patreon.boacademy.org. You'll be able to engage in our Discord channel where we discuss the stocks and SPACs that we're all investing in and share knowledge and research to help one another grow our wealth together and you will have a chance at winning $200 every month just for being a loyal and engaged patron. So if you're interested in that, join us over at patreon.boacademy.org. Now let's hop in. So this article by Fast Company was published on December 16th, 2020, and it's titled, The Price of Electric Vehicle Batteries Has Dropped 89% in 10 Years. In just a few more years, it will be easy and cheap for automakers to build mass market electric vehicles. And Adele Peters, the author, starts by saying, a decade ago, a lithium ion battery pack used in an electric car cost around $1,110 per kilowatt hour. By this year, according to a new survey, the cost have fallen 89% to $137 per kilowatt hour. And by 2023, the cost is likely to fall far enough that car companies can make and sell mass market electric vehicles, EVs, at the same cost as cars running on fossil fuels. This is all wonderful news. And she goes on to quote Logan Goldie Scott, head of clean power at Bloomberg New Energy Finance. And he says, if you look at the remarkable cost reduction over the last decade and what's expected over the next few years, and pair that with escalating policy measures in Europe and expected in the US and China, then you have this very powerful combination of factors to underpin EV uptake starting now. Logan, the researcher who did the survey, went on to say they will continue and accelerate over the next few years. The author goes on to say the report found that some batteries made for electric buses in China have already fallen in price to around $100 per kilowatt hour. That's the cost that analysts expect the market to reach by 2023 or 2024. Within four years, major automakers should be able to produce and sell mass market electric vehicles at the same price and with the same margin as internal combustion engines equivalents, according to Goldie Scott. And the author then goes on the other areas that will drive the adoption of EV cars. She says, after purchase, EVs are already cheaper to operate than traditional cars, both because they require less maintenance and because electricity is cheaper than fuel. Today, some luxury EVs are already at price parity with their luxury gas counterparts, according to Goldie Scott, but cheaper batteries will make that true more broadly without any subsidies. So what the author is saying here is that because today EV cars are so expensive due to the cost of their batteries, 
Governments have given EV car makers like Tesla subsidies to drive down the cost of making and selling these vehicles so that consumers will be more willing to buy them because the subsidies cut down the cost for consumers to reach parity with gas cars. But what the author is saying here is that with cheaper batteries, there will be no need for governments to subsidize these vehicles in the future because the cars will be cheap enough on their own to reach parity with gas cars. So the author goes on to say new innovations in battery technology, such as the ones being done by QuantumScape and MicroVast and others, will make costs drop even further. And as we reach the bottom of this article, the author says that cost is a critical factor in getting more consumers to choose EVs, though other changes are necessary. One issue is simply having a bigger range of vehicles for customers to choose from, says Harish Kamath, a senior program manager for energy storage at the nonprofit Electric Power Research Institute. And this program manager goes on to say, we'd love to see EV minivans, EV pickup trucks, EV subcompacts, all the way up to EV luxury vehicles. And we're starting to see that, especially with Tesla. It's also important that electric charging infrastructure continues to expand. This is where the EV infrastructure companies come into play and dominate. They are the indexes of the industry. No matter which car does well, no matter which car fails, as long as you're investing in EV charging infrastructure companies, you will be investing in the success of the industry as a whole. And given that, you will benefit from the appreciation of the value of these assets, such as ChargePoint, such as EV Box. So as I've pointed out on many occasions on why I'm investing so heavily into ChargePoint, ChargePoint is the ultimate pickaxe for the EV market. And to finish, the author says, from the perspective of climate change, it's necessary to reach a tipping point on the price of electric cars quickly, because cars stay on the road for years. In the US, transportation is now the largest source of emissions. Greenhouse gases are destroying our earth. The cars that we're all driving, the buses, the vans that are delivering our products from Amazon and so forth, they are the largest source for emissions. And we have to cut back on that. Kamath, the program manager from earlier, says that even if 100% of vehicles sold were EVs, it would take over a decade to replace all the cars on the road or even 50% of the cars on the road. So this is a long haul and a gradual evolution at the same time. So while we have a lot of work left to do to get EV cars to be the dominant cars on the road, we can be happy that we've come this far. We've cut down the cost of EV batteries by nearly 90% in 10 years. And researchers believe that we'll be able to cut down another 30% within the next three to four years. So that decrease in battery cost will enable more car makers to jump in and create more EV cars for consumers to buy. And that will help us get to the 10% EV penetration within the next six years, like the smart people over at ChargePoint predict. So I'm looking forward to this, and I hope that you are if you're investing in this industry. And if you're not investing in EVs, I'm very curious why, because EVs are the future. And if you're an investor, you want to be investing in the future, not the past. We're still at the ground floor. We're around 2-3% to penetration. Tesla is the biggest name in the industry, but there's still car makers out there that need to hop in. Ford is hopping in. GM is hopping in. Toyota is working on solid-state battery technology, just like QuantumScape. So the tides are moving in to push the EV transition forward. And I'm looking forward to this future. So that's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, like the video below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and comment your thoughts below. And let me know what you would like me to cover next. And if you would like to help the channel grow and reach more investors and get more access to me and get direct answers to your investing questions, then join us over at patreon.boacademy.org. You'll be able to engage in our Discord channel where we share knowledge and discuss the stocks and SPACs that we're all investing in to help one another grow our wealth together. And you will have a chance at winning $200 every month just for being a loyal and engaged patron. So if you're interested in that, join us over at patreon.boacademy.org. I'm Lincoln with boacademy.org. Thank you again and have a great day.